Lesson 28, The Normal Probability Distribution, Example 4. Membership in Mensa, the High IQ Society, is open to persons who have attained an IQ score within the upper 2% of the general population. If IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15, which IQ scores would qualify a person for membership in Mensa? Well, here we're told that IQ scores are normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15. So we know we can use the normal probability distribution to answer this question. And to describe the normal distribution, we need to know the values of mu sub x and sigma sub x. So here we know this problem follows a normal distribution with mu sub x equals 100 and sigma sub x equals 15. So now the question is, which IQ scores would qualify a person for membership in Mensa? Well, we're told that IQ scores within the upper 2% of the general population would qualify a person for membership in Mensa. So we know that in this normal bell-shaped distribution, only this upper 2% of IQ scores would be allowed in membership in Mensa. So we need to find the IQ score such that only 2% of all other IQ scores are greater than it. Well, to work from the percentage, in this case the upper 2%, to find the particular data value, in this case IQ score, we need to use the inverse norm command on the TI-84 calculator. The inverse norm command on the TI-84 calculator requires the input of three values. The first value we designate as the k over 100, where k represents the percentile, which is the percentage less than. But here we were just given that we're looking for IQ scores within the upper 2%. The inverse norm command wants what the actual less than or lower percentage is. So since the entire normal bell-shaped curve is 100%, and if we're looking for the upper 2%, that only leaves us with 100 minus 2, or 98% less than that. So the percentile here is where 98% of all IQ scores fall less than that. So the value for the inverse norm command that we enter in first would be the 98 for the 98% that fall less than that. But since the calculator is a decimal machine, we don't actually enter the 98%. We have to enter it either in fraction form as 98 divided by 100 or in decimal form, the 0.98. The last two numbers that are entered in the inverse norm command are mu sub x and sigma sub x, the mean and the standard deviation. Here, the mean is 100 and the standard deviation is 15. So now we could enter the inverse norm command on the TI-84 calculator. It's found by going to the distribution menu. We do this by pressing second, D-I-S-T-R, arrow down till we find the inverse norm, press enter, and then we could type in the 98, divide by 100 for the 98th percentile, comma, 100 for the mean, comma, 15 for the standard deviation. Close parenthesis, enter, gives us the corresponding value. Now the inverse norm command produces values that are in the same units as the random variable for which we're making this calculation on. In this case, the random variable are IQ scores. So the value we get here, which rounds off to about 130.8, is IQ points. So now we have our result. People who have IQ scores above 130.8 are eligible for membership in Mensa. But typically, individuals are not given decimal versions of their IQ score. It's usually rounded off to whole values. So we'll express our answer this way. Thus, IQ scores of 131 or higher would qualify a person for membership in Mensa.